over the on the cables and the cable cars. Well, hey everybody, it's Josh with Resort TV One. Happy Tranquil Tuesday, everybody. As you can hear, the beautiful original Land Pavilion music is on again. I know it's been on for a little while, but this is my first time being back over here to hear it. So I am super excited to hear this original music. 1982, from when the park opened. It's nice. You know, I think they can do that because the central, you know, the central hub area or the central plaza area that they just refurbished has its own music loop, which is amazing, but it's nice to have each attraction still have its own music. 
So, super excited to hear this back again. <clears throat> and it's like electronic versions of old, um, I don't know, this is Home on the Range. Just, you know, older folk songs and stuff. So my original intention was to get the monorail shot from the thumbnail at the beginning of the stream, but I couldn't get one to come by. But here comes one. They must have been running a little behind. But I do want to remind everybody to subscribe <clears throat> to the channel. So subscribe if you're new. Hit the like if you're enjoying the stream. And also follow us on social media. We're Resort TV One on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. I also want to congratulate, congratulate Drew Wise. I saw that he's cancer-free. That is amazing, Drew. Thank you for sharing that wonderful news. We are so happy for you. That's awesome. And I saw Mickey Blog in here a second ago. So hi, Mickey Blog. One of our awesome sponsors. Go check them out. MickeyBlog.com and MickeyTravels.com. Hey, Surfer Girl. Hey, Cardboard Box. Hey, Disney Junior. Yeah, probably not going to listen to the band tonight. Uh, I don't know them, but we're just going to be tranquil and chill out tonight. We've got Gwen H. here, M. Mara, Vicki Gillespie, Eden is here, Brad is here, yep, ring the bell, that's right, Ray Jean Ralph, Regina, J.R.N.J. I love this music, I have it. Let's go up towards the pavilion, maybe we'll ride, we'll ride the ride maybe, we'll see. This music relaxes me immediately, so I thought this would be a good place to start. You can look it up. It's on YouTube. I don't think we have it on our channel, but lots of other channels do. The, the, just search for the Land Original Entrance Music. Crowds are pretty high today. I saw Mission Space was 110 minutes earlier. Not really sure why, but hey, people are loving it, I guess. Oh, it's down to 70. This really did say, I should have screenshot it. It really did say 110 minutes earlier. But So I guess nobody, the crowd was not around last week, but now it is. Frozen's 105. Let's see what Ratatouille is. 110. So yeah. But there's still some rides we can ride. Like the land is five minutes because it's amazing and loads a lot of people. The Spaceship Earth is 30. Wow. That's what's crowded today. Spring break crowds are back. Uh, I don't know why the music returned. That's a great question. I <clears throat> I don't know. I'm glad it did, though. I think it's good. You know, you don't need the, the same music in the whole park. I think they need to break it up by area. Oh, yes. Jalen Moxley gifted a membership. Thanks, Jalen. And Super Mickey got the membership. Yeah. It's busy, guys. Last week, there was hardly anybody here. And this week, everybody got the memo, I guess. So. Either that or just not, a, not very many other, other places had spring breaks last week i have no idea but let me go ahead oh five dollars from Jalen moxley just wanted to let you know that i gifted a resort tv membership yeah thanks Jalen. i did see it earlier i was just letting everybody enjoy the sights and sounds for a little bit so thank you so much and yes thank you for uh if you if you know if i don't read your stuff right away thank you for reminding me we did have um well this is from hook this music's from hook beautiful we did have a couple paypals that i didn't read last time if I can find him. So I'll, I'll read these as I... Let's see. I'm not sure if I can do that or not. So cool. Hey, Spider Bro. Hey, Mary. I'll pull it up this way. But yeah, there were a couple PayPal's on the last stream that I don't think we read on last Friday's all-day stream. So let me see if I can pull those up as we walk. Hey, Mr. Carey Small. Wow, seven dwarfs is 130 minutes. Soren is 60 now. Oh, my goodness. So I don't know if we read these or not. I just want to make sure. Um, last stream, Danielle R. 
um, since uh, 1777 on PayPal. Thanks for always creating great streams for our Disney family. Happy anniversary. Finally figured out PayPal. Oh, thanks, Danielle. <laughs> Appreciate that. And Christopher T. We may have already read these, so I just want to make sure Christopher T. sent um, $50 on PayPal. Thanks for the surprise all-day stream today, Josh and Jenna. We love surprises. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thanks, Christopher. And then we got... These are these are all from Friday. Um, and then we got the... Uh, from Jerry, uh, we got a $20 PayPal from Jerry. Thank you, Jerry, for the $20 PayPal. And then just now, we got a tranquil tip. Let me see if I can... There we go. We got a tranquil tip from Robert. Robert B. sent a tranquil tip of $50. Thank you, Robert, very much for that. Really appreciate it. So, Robert, thank you for that $50 PayPal. Really appreciate it. Sorry, I'm looking down to get on the escalator. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Robert. And we have uh, Kristen, Resort Hopper Bronze. Congratulations on five months of Resort Hopper Bronze. Hi, Josh. Happy Tranquil Tuesday. Hey, Kristen. Thank you. Yes, thank you for your continued support. Appreciate it very much. All right, we're gonna ride this thing, but I wanna I wanna really quick switch my connection and let's just I'm just gonna try something a little different tonight. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Very quick lag. Actually, it might be a little bit longer. Let me go ahead and put on the BRB for a second so we can ride this thing. I should have been prepared. <clears throat> Everybody's having a great night so far. Yeah, thank you for all the super chats and things. When did the uh, hot air balloon stop going up and down? Um, I believe it was right around the time they did the refurb, maybe even earlier. They've, they've not been moving for a while. Since early 2000s, late 90s. I don't know the exact time. It'd be interesting to know that, though, wouldn't it? All right. There we go. I'll turn on BRB for you guys really quick. And we'll switch over. Yeah, and you know, this place... The traffic flow, they knew when they put Soren in here that the traffic flow was going to need to be adjusted so the fountain and the chairs and everything wasn't going to work like it did before. Um, so they needed to have clear pathways through here. They actually had a pretty good idea with everything with the four seasons and all that they put in here. Hey, Leslie. Mashed potatoes are to die for. Yeah, so the... I haven't had those. So the fountain was probably like about right here, actually, back in the day. All right. Oh, I will be right back. back. Does Ratatouille have a single rider? <clears throat> I didn't I didn't think it did. Maybe maybe it doesn't. I just never saw it. I mean, that'd be cool to try if they did. It would certainly work out for me. I, I love using the test track one. All right, let me adjust everything so much. I love the BRB so much. That picture in Space Mountain. Seriously, could just watch it all day. KB, that's awesome. <clears throat> that is awesome. Uh, just one. So, I do have like a 10 hour loop of that BRB and some of the others on the channel, so go check it out. Please remain behind the yellow line 
Until the boat comes to a complete stop. Yeah, Bro6. Hey, Roman. How are you? Welcome to Living with the Land. As you board the boat, please lower your head and watch your step. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat at all times. Parents, please supervise your children and refrain from flash photography or using video lights until we reach the moon houses. Thank you. Now, sit back. Relax and enjoy living with the land. Well, right, guys, it might lag a little bit. So just stay tuned. We'll be right back. <coughs> Sorry, guys. systems is the rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. Forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface, but the active living system, providing us with oxygen, food, medicine, and other elements essential to our lives. In the desert, nature has created a very different, but no less beautiful, living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm.
forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. Today, we're learning to live with the land, discovering human and environmental well-being. Scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. Gallons each year. 
Our small fish farm produces nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year to serve in restaurants around Walt Disney World. Innovations like this one can play an important role in our efforts to produce valuable harvests and still protect natural resources. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here at the land every year. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponics system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants.
These greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. On behalf of Walt Disney World, we hope you've enjoyed this unique journey through our living laboratories. If you'd like a closer look, then check out the Behind the Seeds walking tour. It's a chance for the whole family to get up close and personal with the plants and growing techniques in our laboratories. Please keep your hands and feet inside the boat and remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop. Beautiful and tranquil as always. Didn't have too much light either, so that's good. Just like a little blips here and there. Blips and blips. Alright. We're not going to do soaring because it's a little bit too long right now. I didn't see what it said, but it was 50 minutes earlier or 60. Turn on the Starlink and Resort TV One's live. Yep, usually, usually we're live at 6 on Tranquil Tuesdays, but... Next week's going to be a little bit later, so. Then we have uh, Ray Jean, Ray Jean Rolf, Resort Hopper Bronze. Congrats on two months of Resort Hopper Bronze, Ray Jean. Appreciate that. Happy Josh for live streams. You and Jenna have helped us so much. Rich and I keep doing up good work. We're unable to be at the parks. Thank you. Oh yeah, for sure, Ray Jean. We're glad to help thank you so much and yes we did have chuck chuck Polly with a very generous amazing super chat and he just said thanks for the awesome content afterwards uh, i think in a in a subsequent message he said that but chuck is so generous guys incredible so thank you so much chuck he is uh just very very supportive and we appreciate it so very much he doesn't want a selfie uh usually but he just wants to support the channel and we appreciate it so much thank you chuck it means very much more than you know so thank you very very much all right well let's walk around outside a little bit let's go hear that music again i love it i'm glad the interior loop here is still the same one that they this is the the music loop inside the land that they changed it to when soren came in i'm glad that they're allowing the retro stuff in here so most people won't notice but some of us will anytime just hit the like button that's right thanks chuck appreciate it. yes everybody can hit the like but like button that is free to do and subscribe and all the things those are free things you can do anytime 
course you don't have to, but we appreciate it if you do. <laughs> there won't be a test later, so. Hello from Bloomington. Yeah, I know about Bloomington. <laughs> Went to school there, at least for part of the time. Right, let me go back this way here so I can get close to that speaker over there. You hear, oh, my darling Clementine. I do like during Flower and Garden how they have a lot of these plants labeled. Home of John Mellencamp, yep. And the Mellencamp Pavilion. <laughs> we used to practice Marching 100 there. I was in the IU Marching 100. I was actually at IU uh, the night that Bobby Knight was fired. Crazy, crazy times. That's not a tranquil story, but it is an interesting story nonetheless. Love that music so much. So this is kind of the style of the interior too. It's just very like jazzy, loungy, just relaxing music. Hey Lisa. Well, I dropped the lowest grade. Am I grading on a curve? I know, these are the questions we need to answer, right? <laughs> you guys are funny. That's not a tranquil story, no, but it was, it was an interesting story. I believe this is still blocked over here. Maybe? I think. So I actually um, had to go to my chiropractor the other day and talk to him about why my elbows are hurting so much and it was something that I've been dealing with ever since, yeah, it's closed up. Something I've been dealing with ever since the, um, let me just go that way and just see what it looks like. Something I've been dealing with ever since, uh, we did the pavers, Dale and I did. And so, um, but I've been kind of having a little bit of issue with it. Anyway, bottom line is uh, I have a tennis elbow <laughs> from streaming so much. And uh, so now I have little, have these little braces on to help me. He got, he told me to get these off of Amazon. So I got braces to uh, support my arms as I'm holding them. Fun times. Oh, let me let me switch uh, connections really quick. This will just be a quick little switch. Gimbal elbow. Yes, I think it will. It's helping so far. I even wore it to school today because I'm like, I got to get better on this. Getting older is fun. I know. That's what I told my chiropractor. He said, nope. I said, boy, I don't like being old. And he said, it has nothing to do with age. It has to do with you're overusing your elbows and you're holding them into position. That, that is not natural. I'm like, well, that's probably true. It's like you're holding your elbow in an engaged position for a long time. Like, okay, well, there you go. No, he knows. He knows I stream and do all the things. He knows all the things. He, he's that one. Also, you do some conducting too. So it's just kind of the same position. So. It's not the years, it's the mileage. There you go. So yeah. I don't know if you guys want to ride Imagination. I guess I should have not switched the connection, but. Usually we, we have deemed that one not tranquil, but I don't know. I mean, it's up to you guys if you want to do it or not. We don't normally do it on Tuesday, but we can. That's awesome, Disney Jr. You made a short. Very fun. Always fun to make shorts. I need this tranquil music tonight. I appreciate it. Yeah, Jerry, for sure. I'm glad you got the membership thing figured out. Yeah, it looks like you're already a member, so that's good. KB's coming back in November. My husband loves Epcot. Very cool. I love Figment, totally up to you. What's the vote, guys? What's the vote? I know it's beautiful. Just breaking it. Okay. So we got a little bit of both. We got we got uh, some yeses and some noes. I guess that's up to me then. I think there were more yeses than noes. I have tennis elbow. Well, I have tennis elbow as well. It sucks. I wear one of those also. Does it help? <laughs> I've just only worn it today. Hello, JS. All right. Well, let's let's just try it. It'll, it's a quick ride. Let's just do it. Here we go. Give me just a second. Hey, surfer girl. Let's switch back to what I had before. It'll just take. Yes. Well, here, uh, let's think of the old imagination, which is tranquil. How about that? Ooh, I like that. Look at the reflection there. That's cool. Yep, let's think of the original imagination. Ooh, hello. 
the door didn't want me to come in. Good evening. Good evening. Alright, hurry up and wait. Yes. <laughs> Don't think wearing the support helps that much. Okay, well, we'll see how it works. Right now it feels, actually my arms feel better wearing it, so we'll see how, how it helps. So, Jenna got to go behind that desk and get pictures. Oh, this, this won't take very long, so, and then we'll do a little World Showcase stroll. I want to go into World Showcase earlier tonight. We always end up kind of having to rush through it. Professor Brainerd. Yeah, we're almost there. Dr. Nigel Channing, manager of everything else. That's how I feel sometimes, manager of everything else. Streaming elbows, yeah, no, it's weird. I, I've been denying it for so long because I'm part, you know, I'm like a lot of us, I'm part of the rub some dirt on it, you'll be fine generation. And you know, it just, that doesn't always work. That's right, Drake, you don't really need that. You don't really need the lightning lane. <laughs> oh, hey, David, how are you? David's back home in New Jersey. <laughs> It's good to have him here and hang out with his family. So many times, so much fun. We had a blast, both on and off the stream. It's always good to get to know awesome friends through the channel. The multi-pass and Hollywood and Animal and Magic King were sold out today. That's how you know it is busy for Genie Plus. Yeah, that's how you know. I love the figment, figment conducting, that's always fun. They used to have the electronic philharmonic, which was a very similar idea to what that conducting thing is, so that's fun. Uh, what was it, Cricket Fox? I'm sorry I missed it. Somebody was scared but hanging in. Hey, Brandon. Uh, prayers for Roscoe Mothership. Wait, what happened? I, I, I totally missed it. Hey, Plymouth Rock, those things work. I need them and I have carpal tunnel. It all depends on what work I'm doing. Okay. Construction is my life. Yeah. Yes, the concert series is included with your pass. Hey, Sandra. Sorry, there's a lot of chat I missed there. Hello, KTT. Meredith. Let's see. I can't find it. Somebody have to repost it for me. It must have been way too long ago. Uh, Roscoe Mothership is in the hospital. They put a pick line in to help with meds. Oh my goodness. That sounds serious. I hope she's okay. Yeah, I really hope she's okay. Got some bad news about a former student of mine <clears throat> this week as well. Been a rough week. I uh, probably won't catch the show tonight. Probably just do some relaxing stuff tonight. She ended up in the hospital because her leg got really infected. Oh man. I am really sorry to hear that. Sometimes those infections don't, uh, well, sometimes they're just real hard to get rid of. So I hope this one goes away and they get the right combination of meds to get it all taken care of. Oh, good. Well, I'm hoping they get it sorted out. Yeah, Italy trip. Well, you know, I hope she gets to go too, but the most important thing is that she's okay and gets to, gets to recover. So if they have to, they scraped her leg to get the infection out. Wow. I'm glad there's people that know how to do all that. It used to be if you had an infection like that, they would just drain your blood, which is not not the best way we know. So, hi, just one. Take row three. Please wait behind the yellow Hello, all of this Disney. Yes, I heard about the bridge. That is really, really too bad. Definitely prayers for everybody involved with that for sure. Antibiotics full blast. Well, I hope it, I hope it works. And I saw it when I clicked on the news, so not uh, not good. But I hope everybody's okay, and I'm just glad it didn't happen during a busier time. 
David said, yes, we have tons of fun. We did. All right, guys, enjoy the ride. It might lag. I have no idea. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside your tour trap. Keep a watchful eye on your children. And, um, oh, yes, uh, please don't let your imaginations run wild. Bienvenidos. Para su seguridad durante su estadía en nuestros laboratorios sensoriales, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del vehículo. Y cuide a los pequeñitos. Gracias. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our special drive-through open house. I'm Dr. Nigel Channing, chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello. On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. They're sight, sound, <laughs> smell, <laughs> touch, goochie goochie go, and taste. <sighs> taste my chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Figment, you are not to interfere with the tour. Our first stop is the sound lab. We'll begin by testing your hearing with a series of tones. Left ear, right ear. Left, right. What? This is on. Um, hello? Hello? Who is this? It's Figment! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. Now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. It's over here. All aboard. Woo -woo! Next stop, imagination. For every sound, your ears are hearing. A thousand thoughts can start appearing. And each of us imagines different things from just the sound. Your mind has wings. Continuing now, if I may, in a calm, scientific, figment-free manner, the things we see with our eyes can control the eyes of the imagination. Uh, let's begin by using the eye chart to test your vision. Now, all together, if you would please read line three. <laughs> With you can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you can see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing figment. One spark of light can light your fancy. Your mind sees more than what your eyes see. Your sense of sight can make your fancy fly. There's more to say. Here's a 
Six, I was just about to ask. No lag at all. Wow. Okay. Wow, we haven't. We, I think we've done that one other time with no lag. That's crazy. I am excited that that worked. Cool. Oops. I fit, flubbed the gimbal. There we go. Now there might be lag on the way out of here, and that's fine. This is fun. Saxophone figment! I picked the saxophone right away. <laughs> yeah. Cool. My husband, Matt uh, Alki, is looking forward to your iPhone 3G video tonight. Yeah, that's right. I am going to have that tonight um, on uh, Retro TV One Tech, our other channel, my other channel, the tech channel. So go check that out. I love this so much. Uh, tonight at 9.30, right after this stream, I'm going to premiere a video showing if the iPhone 3G still works or not. Like, it works, but can you still use it? It does turn on and it does function properly, but can you still use it? Is there anything you can actually do with it? Yes, David, there would be a great amount of lag if I streamed with the 3G. I don't want to give away too much, but I'll explain tonight why there would be a lot of lag on that. I still have one of those in its box. That's awesome. I used to have the box and stuff. Maybe get rid of it, but it's fine. Can't keep stuff all, all the time. Wow, I can't believe that just worked. I remember the beginning of the original ride. Yep, that's very similar there. That's fun. And also, you've got the stairway over here, which um, that's one of the big reasons why you can't go up there now. But one of the reasons I wish I was, uh, or mom and dad were still, I was never. I wish we were still DVC members, but. We've been up there a couple times. It's so beautiful up there. Good grief. Yeah, so Retro TV One Tech, my other channel. It'll This video will forward you right over there automatically or automagically if you uh, stay tuned. So that's a thing that happens. Hey, Fault Loves Walt. All right, well, let's... I'm going to do a real quick pause and switch back to my regular connection so we don't have any lag outside. So be right back after like a very quick pause. We're back. My first iPhone was a 4S. Nice. Yeah, let me know in the chat 
If you're an iPhone user, what was your first iPhone? Let me know. Or if you're not an iPhone user, that's fine. Let me know what your first phone, or let me know what your first smartphone was. How's that? I guess technically my first smartphone was probably like this, uh, what was it? HTC thing. I can't even remember what it was. Uh, it was technically like singular branded. But uh, then I had a Samsung Blackjack. Three second BRB. Mine was a four. iPhone six. DVC, uh, darn it, we forgot to visit the DVC lounge. Oh yeah, we'll make it a point next time. No worries, David. And I came over here and not realizing that I can't go that way. That's fine. 3GS, that was pretty close to my 3G. We gotta go this way. This is only a visiting area for Woody and Woody and Bo Peep and the sheep. iPhone 6, Blackberry. I never had a Blackberry. Droid X, then Apple 3G, iPhone 3. 3GS, Tanina says. iPhone 3. Yeah. <clears throat> My first phone was one of those Nokia, the big, not not even the, not, not the slim one, like the big, the big brick one. The indestructible one. It had Snake on it, so technically it had a game. Motorola. Blackberry. Epcot construction is supposed to be completed in June. So this will all be open in June. Apparently Walcott will finally cease to exist at least for a while so that's cool this one's tough lg slider iphone 6s 4s trio david says 3gs zach morris nokia yeah 15 pro max was my first i regret moving away from samsung okay well yeah it's not for everybody i think if you use one or the other for a while you definitely get used to it and it does make it hard to switch had a bag phone. Dad had an actual car phone. Hey, Leaf. Razor. That was a cool one. I never had one of those, but they were cool. Radio Shack bag phone. Epcot. Tear down that wall. That's right. Huh. Mr. Tomorrow. <laughs> right. Josh Tomorrow. Tear down this wall. HTC was probably WinCE. It was, Dr. Gonzo. You are correct. It was an HTC something. You know, I mean, they all had... Those didn't have memorable model names. Remember when you could jailbreak iPhones? Yes. If you want to watch a jailbreaking an iPhone, um, stay tuned. I do. I do actually jailbreak the 3G tonight and show you that that's still possible. So, yeah, on that video, I do all kinds of things. It's about a 30-minute video. I was gonna just answer the question, "Can you still use it?" And I pretty much answered the question within the first 10 minutes. But then I just played around with it and showed you all the things you can do with it. So, get that wall down. Update store and yep, I touch it counts. Yep. It's funny how in Carousel of Progress they say car phone. Yeah, they could just update that. They should just say cell phone. First ever phone was Motorola StarTac flip phone. You know what? I did have one of those at some point. They had like, you know, they might only had 25 minutes on it and then nights and weekends because it was really just, I had to drive, quite a drive back and forth to college. So it was really just a four emergencies phone. I don't even think I had texting on it. So was only supposed to use it either on nights and weekends or for emergencies. And I stuck to that pretty good. Remember back when you had to like worry about charges on the phone and long distance and all that? Nobody, that's like a foreign concept now because the phone is basically just a portal to the internet now. All right, let's go to World Showcase. Anyway. Hi, everybody. So yeah, well, thanks for that. I don't want to, I don't want to tech talk everybody to death, but we will have tech talk tonight on the other, on the other stream. I do remember the gigantic extra batteries though, that was fun. I did have an extra battery for one of my phones at one point. Yep, you waited until 9 p.m. <laughs> sure did. That's a beautiful one. That's awesome, Roman. That's funny, Paul, I couldn't remember that. Yeah, Sandra, we're going to World Showcase. Let's say hi to Figment first though. Because I think, you know, it's impolite not to say hi to Figment. Plus, well, we just kind of did anyway. We rode his ride, but just thought to say hi to Topiary Figment. There were emergency phones. There were Motorola's. Yeah, James, you know, it's funny. A lot of us had those. Because, you know, we didn't need to have conversations on them. We just needed them for, for safety on the road. Yeah, Pinar, that's her music. It's a wonderful music. She's a very talented composer, she is. Um, 
You know, some people, it's funny. Some people have that gift and some don't. I definitely don't. I can arrange, but I just, I don't have those, I don't have those ideas in my head of melodies. I'm okay with that. Like, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm okay to, to appreciate other people's talent on that. <laughs> so, yeah. I, um, let's see. I do want to thank our Platinum members. We have YouTube Platinum members that pledge $50 a month to the channel. So definitely big, huge thank you to them for their $50 a month support. That's my crazy grown-up life. Spider-Man, Big Guy One, Jack Sparrow, Chuck Polly, Energy Entertainment, Jalen Moxley, Go Mini, Sikander Durrani, Will Miller, Christopher Black, James Hahn, Maker Emily, Ali Verismo, and Alan J. Thank you to all of you for your support of the channel. And thank you to channel members for being members at any level. We appreciate all of you. And thank you, uh, Moppers, for mopping and keeping the streams family friendly all the time. That's our moderators. We call them Moppers. The, uh, if you're new to the channel, we call our everybody who watches, regardless of member or not, or moderator or not, everybody is a resort hopper because we're Resort TV One, so we're resort hoppers. And then, we call our moderators moppers because they moderate and they also mop up the chat and they keep it clean. There's a mess in the chat, they mop it right up. It's busy for sure. We also, um, there we go. Yeah, so just thank you to everybody for being here. I have not messed around with Logic Pro. Soundtrap, we use Soundtrap at school in some of our projects because it's got a free version, so the kids, if they like it, they can join the membership, but it's got a free version to, that we can try. So, because I, I, uh, I guess I haven't taken the, taken the, I haven't asked or tried to get the budget together to get, to buy school licenses for Logic. But yeah, Logic is cool, I, I, and I don't know much about it. So we have the kids make like beats and patterns and songs on uh, Soundtrap, which is fun. It's pretty user-friendly too, Soundtrap. Hi, Gia. Good to see you. Gorgeous, gorgeous day here at Epcot. All right. Speaking of schools, I can hear the school groups. I'm a resort hopper because my second name is Hopkins. There you go, Eden. Yes, you sure are. I love this. It's probably my favorite part of the whole decoration area here. It's kind of hard to see because of the sun, but yeah. Officially, feel we've got my AARP card. Oh, my goodness. To send the readers in the takeout. Yeah. David, it's okay. I have elbow braces on so you know like I said apparently but see my chiropractor chiropractor tells me that it's not about my age it's about the fact that I overused my elbows and that it wouldn't matter how old I was so I feel a little bit better about myself hey go many how are you yes watching 1080p for the best quality look at that Oh yeah, Christina, I had spring break last week, but I did enjoy it. Thanks for asking. Yep, I was back at work yesterday and today. Had good days though, you know? Had a couple really stressful days before break and I've kind of, I have to really be careful. It's one of these things is continuous self-improvement of, you know, yes, of course, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a leader. I'm a, you know, I'm a partial department chair administration type thing, you know, middle manager. And so if there's a problem, I definitely have to do like vanilla ice and solve it. But um, I can also kind of, I'm not forced to get upset about it. So I've kind of been working myself through that a little bit is that, you know, if somebody else is upset about something and has a huge issue, I can help them solve it. I don't have to take on their upset as well. I can stay calm. It's hard though, you know, because if somebody's upset about something, you kind of get caught up in it, but I'm working on that. <laughs> So I'm sure a lot of us work work on that a little bit. It's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of somebody else's anger sometimes. <laughs> and it wasn't even me they were upset with. That was the thing. I just try, you know, I just kind of get worked up by it. So yeah, miss it so much. Oh, Gia, yep, you guys will be back soon. We miss you guys too. Need to work on that big time. It's hard. It's very hard. It's easier said than done, my friends. But yeah, you know, we all struggle with it. Or if you don't struggle with it, good for you and good job working that out. Hey, Sheila, welcome in. Disney withdrawal is real. Did you just volunteer that you want to go back? Oh, David, I'm pretty sure she was ready the second you guys got on the plane. <laughs> it was fun to fun to hang out with you guys and see you guys react to all the shows that you hadn't seen, like Luminous. Um, you could tell when we watched that that night, Gia really enjoyed it. She was 
I'm just very, very excited about a lot of the parts that I, that we all think are cool. And we get to enjoy that tonight too. And it is something you need to see in person. Like, like you know, nothing, nothing against the streams at, at all. We do our very best and our very best quality, but it is just impossible to really feel it unless you're here. So need the sun and flowers. Yeah, Boston Scott, I get it. We got Coco over here. Yeah, Christina, we'd love to meet you. And I know it's hard because, you know, not everybody is able to come down, but that's why we're here for you. But you never know. One of these days, if you, you know, if you're able to, if you're able to save up and you're able to get the time off and the schedule and everything, never say never. I do know, depending on how far away you are, that, you know, it might be more difficult for some than others. Um, based on financial situations, look, I've totally totally been there and there's a lot of times even now where we wouldn't be able to come here if we didn't live here you know so I, I really think that I totally understand but we're here for you get a big screen TV put the resort TV one on and turn on the surround sound I'll feel luminous yeah Amy for sure hey Jason it is a million times better in person and you know the once you've here's the cool thing once you've seen it the streams are a good substitute you know, it's it's because it's better than nothing, right? But also, now you, you, you've kind of seen it in person, so now you can appreciate it even on the streams more because you know exactly what it's like in person. So I think that's another benefit of being able to come. We love meeting mom and dad, Dale and Jenna, so sweet. Yes, they are. They sure are. Hey, John. Hi, how are you? Hi, good, good. Yeah, we watch you all the time. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. We're from Minnesota. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you, too. You guys uh, from the ho the home of the Golden Gophers? That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I, I know that because we went and played in the stadium when I was in marching band in college one time. Oh, cool. So yeah, we went all yeah. the way, did the Mall of America and the whole thing. Yeah. Well, there's like a foot of snow right there right now, and we're here in sunny Florida. Nothing like March snow, right? Exactly. That's right. That's <laughs> oh right. my goodness. You guys want to say hi on the stream? Sure. Sure. What are your names? Hi. Brad. Tony. Caleb. Carson. Lana. Awesome. Yeah. Did we get everybody? It's nice we to meet y'all. Yeah, nice <laughs> it's like call and roll in class. That's yeah. awesome. You guys, well, I'm glad you're enjoying the weather. Yeah, we're, we're definitely having some really, really nice weather lately. So yeah, we didn't expect this. We're a little, uh, a little burnt today. The northerners uh, didn't realize that the sun is so bright down there. Well, us, us, uh, us Floridians, former northerners, get caught in it too. I was out doing my lawn the other day, doing putting pavers in the backyard with Dale, and uh, I didn't put sunscreen on, and I was burnt. I paid the price, <laughs> and it was only 65 that day. I mean, it's warm, but it's like yeah. you know for. For Florida, that's not like hot, right. and it's like I thought, oh, I won't get burned. It's not hot; it doesn't matter. <laughs> I got burned anyway. Exactly. Yeah. So, but anyway, yeah. Well, yeah. Nice, to meet you. nice to meet you guys yeah. too. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your time. Yeah. They like your grumpy shirt, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the sun is no joke here. You, you know, you you think you're not getting burned, and then you are. And you know, you think I live here. I, should, I would know that, but I still get caught. I still get caught. The sun keeps me honest. Yeah, I wasn't planning on catching the band tonight. I do hear them back there, but um, yeah, I think we'll just stay tranquil tonight. <clears throat> Not that the band wouldn't be, but I don't know that group, so I kind of thought, eh, tonight we'll just relax. Starship is coming up pretty soon, though. Well, not pretty soon, but at the end of, uh, at the end of April. Streams are a great substitute, not the same as real life, but it's still a great way to cure the Disney blues. Yep, that's the whole goal. The streams make you feel like you were there and live in the magic. That's awesome. Yeah, let's do Grand Fiesta. Hey, go Minnie. By the way, that Imagination song, that's the one redeeming quality about Imagination is, uh, you know, the song is still there. Even though it's different, it's still one little spark, which I love and everybody loves. We get to hear the folk version of it now after Luminous, but... Um, it is crazy if you read Twitter, Eric Idle has no memory of being in that attraction. So apparently somebody, you know, painted him all up like a moon, um, and, and he sung One Little Spark, and he has no memory of this. Now, I guess if you're, you know, if you've been around acting and done as many jobs as I'm sure he has, I, I get it that maybe you don't remember all the jobs that you've done, but I would think you'd remember getting made up like a moon. <laughs> uh, who knows? Forest Lake, Minnesota, nice. Yeah, uh, Tanina, I'm gonna I'm gonna come to the Starship. I'm gonna come to every single show that night. And whoever wants to come with me can come. I know 
sometimes we watch several shows in a row, people are not as excited about that, but I'm going to go and I'm going to stream it for the people that do enjoy it. Tranquil me would have, be having a dark beer and relaxing over in England. Well, that's definitely tranquil. I agree. I get restless, so I have to stroll. My friend and I were the same way when I would come with him to Epcot. He's moved down to South Florida now. We saw him. We saw him over the break, but um, we would come to Epcot all the time. Some of you saw us here a few times, um, but um, anyway, we would we would come and. Uh, grab a drink and we walk with our drinks be watching that stream for sure awesome foreigner's journey was good david yeah you, i'm glad you got to come with me for that one uh no i don't use sunscreen all the time usually just in like right now it's not a big deal because the sun is pretty low basically you need it anytime before like four o'clock three or three or four when the sun is high if you're going to be in it a lot now on these streams it drops pretty quickly, so I don't need it as much. So yeah, that is a good question. All right, let's go this way. <laughs> I actually don't know Eric Idle's backstory, but I know he did Monty Python and stuff. Hey, Teresa. There's a little bit, a little bit of a line, but not bad. It'll be quick. Hello from Burnsville. Hey, Marma. Classy Disney moms here. Brad. Blessed be. My, it's a troop, but flip side. Watching my first stream after an amazing but exhausting trip, I was happy to travel the parks vicariously through you but from the comfort of my couch. There you go. Blessed be. Yeah, especially if you're tired. Tired, sore, sunburnt, all the things. It is, you know, sometimes it's nicer to just chill on your couch, to put some ice on, <laughs> all the sore spots, and just go from there. Oh, that's awesome, uh, Leaf. How was the orchestra? Pretty cool. I wanted to get to that, but I decided I decided not to go live on Saturday. I was uh, kind of tired, and then we ended up going to Disney Disney Springs. Liam and I went to Disney Springs, hung out, and then uh, David and family met us, and we had dinner at Splitsville. So that was fun. Your son met Stephen King. That's cool. He seems like an interesting guy. I'm not as not as uh, interested in some of the horror stuff, but I do appreciate the talent of his him as a writer. What part do you think needs more capacity? I don't know. I really think that I think it's about time for a, a fifth park. I think they a lot of the year they could definitely fill a fifth park. Now, some like last week, the fifth park would be pretty empty. But, yeah, I don't know. It's a good question. You know, I think Magic Kingdom could definitely use more capacity if they're able to build some area there. So. Loomis was definitely as good as you said it would be. It totally blew me away. That's awesome, David. Love from Cincinnati, Ohio. Can't wait to see Jeff Lyons' ELO in September. Very cool. Oh, that'll be great. Oh, Kevin, oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not going to read that, but uh, that's too bad. I mean, you know, Eric is he's, he's an older guy. He probably is just getting tired of people asking him about it. Also, old school Figment was definitely more fun than new school Figment. Uh, one. I think they've got room at Magic, too. Oh, yeah, Disney Junior. Yep, I have the dates for that. Thank you so much, though. Appreciate it. Yeah, Steph was awesome. I'm putting my calendar, the dates of all the bands. So yeah, let's ride. We're on Fiesta. Enjoy, guys. Oof. Oh, a Lori Pop Guardians is one of my favorite rides. I absolutely love it. Mm. 
Adiós, amigos. Come again. See you next time. We'll be watching for you. Catch us on tour. Viva México. Raise your hand if you got that song stuck in your head now. <laughs> oh, let me turn the quality back up. Sorry, we're still potato. Watch the big difference here. Ready? Potato. On potato. It's a big difference. So if it was pixelated, it's because there's a little bit of lag spot right in that last area of the ride, and I fixed it. So. Hand raised. Yep, <laughs> I, I I know. See, this is it's a thing. Everybody, you're you're, it's stuck in your head. I knew it would be. That's a good song. It's it's, it's along the lines of even. It's not quite as catchy as Small World, but it's pretty catchy. Not so you just said that. Oh, I'm sorry. I made it worse. This is this pavilion is so awesome. It's definitely my favorite because it's just so well done. Not just because it has a ride. The ride is awesome and I love it, but it also is just fun because it's so beautiful in here. Wish I could be there, especially since I have a tough week at work. I'm sorry, Rio. Rio. I hope it gets better. I hope you get through it as smoothly as possible. Best food at Disney is a taco place. Interesting. I, yeah, I don't know. Um, I've eaten there before. I'm not a biggest fan of tacos in the world, but I'm glad to hear that they're good. So I know a lot of people, you know, some people just are picky about, they don't like some of the Disney fast food stuff, so I'm glad to hear that some of it is very, very good. That's good to hear. Runaway Railway song does get stuck in my head. It is very authentic and chill. The guy who hasn't been to Mexico says, but I'll take everybody else's word for it that has been there. I love that it's nighttime, yes. A small world is the song that never ends. It goes on and on, my friends. Look at that. Sunset. Gorgeous. Let's go get a better view of it. As we walk around the world. Ta -da. Can we go into China and see Shanghai Disneyland display? Yeah, sure. We haven't been in there for a while. <laughs> That's funny, Rick. 
My wife would get me on small while she brought if I could bring a big scoop in a bucket. <laughs> wow. Let me get over here real quick. Look at this. Wow. Stand up over here. That's nice. Oh yeah, that's great. It rained and rained and rained. Thank you. Look at that. We we featured on your vlog. Oh yeah. Hey Frank. Isn't that awesome? Let's go over here just a little bit. Stunning. Tranquil. And gorgeous. Keep going if we can as we watch and enjoy a peaceful stroll. Yeah, that's nice. Gorgeous view. World Showcase is one of the best places to watch the sunset, and that's the proof right there. Kind of walking fast so I can get back around to a different view. Ron and Elsa. Hold on, it's very busy. Very, very busy. Good evening. Tonight at 9 o'clock, we invite you to join us for Luminous, the Symphony of the Cross. this deep voice up cut guy I'll go back to China real quick I just want to get a view from the bridge up here if I can before the sun goes down Tranquil stroll. <laughs> oh, it's going behind the cloud. Oh well. Thought maybe it would be nice from over there. Hold on, just a second. Look at this. That's really cool. Oh, hey, Park Hoppers. It's very cool. Oh, let's go back. Sorry, I thought it would be better from over there. That's okay. We'll go back and see the Shanghai zip exhibit. husband, Glenn, and I are going to be at Disney World in May for our 20th anniversary staying at Pop Century Resort. Hope we're able to meet you. Yeah. I well, uh, hope so. Hope we're around during that time. Somebody said they found my Disney 50th anniversary Walt Disney World today. 
Yeah, that was fun. We got to do that at one of the cabins, I believe. Ooh, here, look at that. How are you? The boat is sailing off into the sunset. Indeed, it was. It was sailing into the sunset. So awesome. I guess a lot more people have spring break this week. like and subscribe if you're new I also want to talk about one of our awesome sponsors mickeytravels.com if you want to book your next trip right here to Walt Disney World just check out mickeytravels.com they'll help you book it it's mickeytravels.com also check out mickeyblog.com where they find and share the latest Disney news from around the area mickeyblog dot com and mickeytravels.com go check them out and tell them Resort TV one sent you yeah that would be a great BRB photo you are right I know we come to Epcot for most of the Tranquil Tuesdays but I don't know it just fits really really well and I'm trying to do different things <clears throat> every time so I don't always succeed at that but I just it makes, makes me happy so I hope it makes you happy too <laughs> hi don't get me wrong nobody nobody complained I was just mentioning it actually nobody said a word I just well, well people are thinking they'd like to see somewhere else I just really feel like this fits well snake bite says I really enjoy Epcot yep me too It's the people that surround, it uh, doesn't matter where we go, it's about the people we surround ourselves with. I agree, Amara, I agree. 100%. So true. See if we get signal in here. Looks like we do. Laughing Mickey traders. I'd love to go here. I, we, we just have to vlog. They do not allow streaming. Epcot works so well. It does. And there's other things that would work too. I just enjoy it so much here. I love the, that Mickey ears hat with the dragon on it. That's pretty cool. You do mix it up enough and I like seeing some other places, but Epcot is just so perfect. Yeah, Andrew. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, I mean, it's, you know, if somebody said, oh, you only go to Epcot, I mean, it's a legitimate, it's a legitimate concern, but I just enjoy it. It's kind of crazy seeing the log flume ride like that. Everything's so different, but it's good. I mean, it's good that they didn't just copy it. Well, that's a Toy Story Land. Their Toy Story Land has a... Why does their Toy Story Land have so many more rides than ours does? It's Tomorrowland with a Tron. I'm confused. Why, why, why do they not... It's really, really cool. But yeah, why do we why do we not have more in our Toy Story Land? It looks like they have another little spinner thing. And a couple more rides. Tron. Light cycle run. It's pretty cool. Got a pretty good video of it the other day on the all day stream. Duffy. Let me know if it lags, guys. Let me turn the bit rate down a little bit since we're inside. I like the China movie, too, and I don't know what happened to the one they were supposed to do. It's a mosaic. Or the new movie they were supposed to do. 
Bob the one that went over China, maybe. No idea. But it was definitely, definitely uh, obvious that it's different. Disneyland's going with Disneyland forward. Awesome. Lori, yes, I like, I like the idea for Disneyland for sure. I want to see more announcements for Disney World. This, this Pirates thing is so cool there. That Pirates ride is just insane. They pay for it, not Disney. Well, that's why then. <laughs> I know that's how it is in Tokyo. Yeah, those are cast member outfits. Some Tomorrowland ears. I like the Mickey on the light cycle. That's pretty cool. We never had that, did we? Yeah, look on YouTube if you want to see that Pirates. It's very, very cool. Jetpacks. Those are fun. I don't know, it's just fun. Does he want to use a Matterhorn? Yeah, I don't know where they put it, but yes. I guess they could put it behind Big Thunder. They could have our own mountain range. <clears throat> that that D23 announcement last year was like, much ado about nothing. I hope they do better with that this year. We're going to announce some stuff, but not announce anything. <laughs> I am inside China, showing the Shanghai Disney Resort. Thank you. And we can turn the, the quality back up. And again, at 9.30, right after the fireworks, we'll be having a premiere on my Retro TV One Tech channel showing can you still use an iPhone 3G in 2024? I meant to do it last year because it rhymes. Can you use an iPhone 3G in 2023? But I just didn't get around to it. But I will get there eventually. Well, I did get there. I did get there eventually. Hey, how are you, Mickey? <laughs> That's right, Mar just posted the link to it. It's a fun video. So that might ap appeal to more people than some of the other tech because a lot of people did have those you know, iPhones, those original ones. This is the second one. I never had the original one, so this is the second one, the 3G. The original one is just called the original, or sometimes they call it the 2G, even though it's, it's 3G because it has 3G cell service, not because it's the third phone. Definitely missed you Saturday, but you got some family time. Yes, I'm glad too. It was really, really good. I mean, I just, I don't know. So peaceful. Do they? They still do they still do the acrobat show in China? I don't know. It's such a beautiful place. One more good shot of this. So beautiful. All right, let's continue our stroll around the world. I wonder what they're looking at over here. The birds? Yeah, but they're not the ones that they eat, but it's like a 
That's just a lot of people. All the birds over here. All the birds always hang out in these trees over here. They love it. I don't know if the sunset's really that beautiful or if it's because it's sunset at Disney World. I mean, <laughs> it's a little bit of both. It really is beautiful, though. Look at that. You can see the birds a little bit better from over here. There they go. I don't know why they're all like over there. It's weird. But yeah, that's literally where they always hang out. Actually, it's like the tree has lost leaves from the fact that they're just always there. It's kind of funny. Hi. Of course. How's it going? Good. Good. What's your names? Nice to meet you all. Where are you from? Springfield, Ohio. Okay. Very cool. Enjoying your trip so far? Yes. This is awesome. our first park day. Okay. That's awesome. Spring break? Yes. Okay. It's yeah. A very long day. Oh, I'll, with this, the flight and everything else, is that you fly in? Rope drop. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's been actually more busy this week. I guess more people had spring break this week. Last yeah. week was pretty dead. <laughs> so, awesome. You guys having fun so far then? Just tired? Yeah. Okay. Can I get a picture of what's Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. How do you want to do this? Um, here, I guess. <laughs> Is that good? We got all the crazy birds behind us. I, I said, I don't know why all those birds hang out back there, but they always do. <laughs> Are we ready? One, two, three. Thank you. Yes, yeah, nice to meet you all. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. Look at that. Absolutely. Alright, we gotta keep going or we're not gonna make it around. <laughs> Even though I definitely enjoy the sunsets. The birds are animatronics. <laughs> They're programmed to keep the park clean. I love that. Hey, beautiful mouse co. How are you? photo albums all over the world yeah <laughs> maybe by accident too I'm sure I'm in the background of a lot too because I'm here so much who's that guy <laughs> all right. yeah Jam Piero it's very very busy for sure it's more like what it was two weeks ago right, let me The Germany music, so nice. We'll showcase at dusk, it's so beautiful, it sure is. Michael, how you doing? It's good to see you. Hi, girl. Michael's been around almost since the beginning as well, pretty close to the beginning. It's kind of fun if you look at our first several what? videos and streams, you can see all the people that were around back then. Even if people comment on them, like recently, you can see the ones that commented on them, you know, several years ago. Well, just a week ago tonight, we celebrated seven years of live streaming, which is absolutely insane. Seven years. Who wants pretzel and beer? Yes, we will show the Easter eggs very, very soon. Yeah, I can go back and look at and see if there is a single rider line. I can do that. At Ratatouille. I don't think there is, though. They might have built one, but I don't think they use it.
I have definitely been here a long time. Seven years is incredible. You and Jen should be proud. Thanks, Michael. <coughs> it, it really has been a long time, for sure. But it's been a good long time. The, the time has gone quickly, so we really are thankful for all the things that have happened. we got to go check out Blingy Space at Birth here. See if we can do it without lagging. I see that it's still here. Seven, still $79,000. Bargain value. We'll get, we should get two. It's one of those nights. Perfect for a Tranquil Tuesday. For sure, Stream Finder. Welcome in. Your garden's amazing. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's a better bargain than the castle, I'll say that. What's cool, though, is that they have this one, which is obviously more, a little more reasonable, but still cool. I oh, didn't see the price on this one. I don't think this one's for sale, maybe. It's not on sale yet. <laughs> yeah. I think they're going to probably stick to the price. One of those, they used to have the smaller version of those, the little Spaceship Earth or pylons there, Epcot pylons, I think. I'm probably going to get lag back here. No. Maybe they're not here anymore. They maybe they sold out. Those are pretty cool, and they're more. They were more affordable. Can we just buy the sign? It says 79k. Maybe. Let's ask. <laughs> I just want the sign. <laughs> I don't see that anymore. Yeah, they used to have smaller versions of those pylons, but I guess that they're. <laughs> Everybody else is bedazzled by the bedazzling. The girl said it, lady said it was not bedazzled enough. <clears throat> got to ship it home. Yeah, for sure. Well, for me, I could drive it home. Be nervous all the way there. Oh, yeah, Poppy, for sure. I saw the sign and it opened up my eyes. <laughs> Amy, too funny. <clears throat> Beer Garden's really cool. They got, you know, performances going on throughout the evening. It's uh, it's a buffet, you know, and it's also family-style sitting, seat, sitting, seating, uh, where you sit, <clears throat> unless you have a bigger party, you sit with other groups. It's really fun. Very similar to the uh, regular German beer gardens. You almost always sit with other groups there in a real beer garden because they just have big tables, and in this, either you have a big group or you sit together. That's the way it goes. All the dwarfs. I really enjoyed the blockbuster video. Awesome, Chris. Mickey memories. Yeah. Dude doesn't often bring the hammer down, but I did get some serious side eye when I wanted to buy the Epcot pylon thingy. <laughs> She's like, uh, no. <laughs> oh, they were not doing the sit together. Okay, maybe they phased that out since the pandemic. I knew that they stopped it during COVID, but I figured maybe they brought it back once everything calmed down. Uh, that's all right, I guess. I, you know, sometimes it can be awkward if you're sitting with another family, and you know, maybe it doesn't not comfortable situation for some reason. How do I go back and see the first stream ever? Uh, I made a comment on it. that. I don't know. This the first stream you ever watched, or the first stream you made a comment on? That would be hard. So beautiful. They got Spaceship Earth with the globe on it. Throwback to Illuminations. 
two months and two days. Jam Piero and I were coming down for vacation. Nice. I was in trouble when she started to speak Spanish. Oh yeah, yeah. That's like when mom would call you out by your middle name, right David? When mom addresses you using your middle name, you know you're done and you just gotta stop. <laughs> just gotta stop. We don't do that to Liam very much. Via Napoli. So good. Oh, silly mio. So many memorable nights, memorable nights over those seven years, and you never know when the next one's coming. That's right, Streamfinder. That's right, even though, you know, on the outside of it, people might think, oh, they just go to the same parks all the time, and I don't get it. Well, it's first of all about the community. Different people in the chat every night and different conversation topics. And then the second part, I think, is, too, you never know what's going to happen in the parks. Could be a really cool experience. Could just be a nice night. Could be a nice combination of all of the above. You never know. I saw you in 2018, but sadly I wasn't watching the channel, so I didn't know who you were. Oh, wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know who you, you were obviously then either, but I'm sorry we didn't get to say hi. Next time. Next time for sure. Some beautiful flowers. A speaker platform sporadically, yeah, I know, right? There is definitely a uh, a little sporadic speaker down here. Like it just shorted out right in the middle of Luminous the other night. That was crazy. <clears throat> a week ago today, that was. Uh, Telecon. Oh yeah, Via Napoli's pizza is awesome. Telecon, 10 pounds. Telecon, 2. Uh, hi Josh, thanks for showing us all what we miss so much when watching in the UK. Best wishes to all James and family at JPL Studios. Thank you so much, James and family. We're so glad to see you guys in the chat. We appreciate you guys and uh, thanks for the super chat. Glad to bring it to you. I love Pizza Rizzo. You know what? There's nothing wrong with Pizza Rizzo. Some people, some people hate on it, but I think it's great. Now, are some of the other places better? Sure. But I think it's still really good. I think it's still a nice place to eat, for sure. Have to get dinner. No worries, David. Enjoy your dinner. Looks like there's quite a few seats for funk funkified. I thought it was gonna be funkified. It's funkified. Welcome to the American Garden Theater for tonight's performance of the Garden Rocks concert series, featuring Orlando's own Funkified. The concert will begin in just a few minutes. Thank you. Oh, I love all those songs. You don't know what it's like. It's one of those, one of those nights and every angle is a postcard. Yes, for sure. For sure. Oh yeah, I'd love to do rockin' when it comes back. At some point, rockin' roller coaster, that would be fun. I don't know, man. There, there were so many eras of music like this that just bring back all the memories. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, let's mute it for a second so it doesn't take the stream out. <laughs> And we're back for a second. It's just, I don't know, that music is just so relaxing. So. 
I just don't want it to untranquilly block the, the stream. <laughs> Somebody was concerned the other day about muting in the streams, and I wish we didn't have to do that, but they've been a lot more strict about copyrights lately. Now, Disney Junior, we haven't gotten to Remy yet. Gotta be patient, buddy. We haven't gotten there yet. And I'm not gonna run. You gotta calm down and let everybody else enjoy the stream, too and not uh, repeat the same question a lot. Look at those views, aren't they beautiful? Wow. Just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I know. There's so many rides that they could have built. Japan would have been one of them. What was the Japan ride? Was it like something about Mount Fuji? <clears throat> yeah, it's a it's a beautiful pavilion for sure. I do I do wish that they had built some kind of a Japanese ride. I think that would have been really cool. Oh, speaking of bonsai, here real quick. Let me come over here and sew those real quick. Oh, Polynesian would be great tonight, yes, for sure. Hello, I enjoy watching Tranquil Tuesdays after work while eating dinner. MG Disney fan. I am so glad. I enjoy doing them. Hey, Nanny Pooh Bear. Hey, Kelly. Welcome in, friends. <clears throat> glad you're here. What are this? Can somebody tell me what the Spaceship Earth shows are for Flower and Garden? I always forget. <clears throat> Is it cocoa? I don't really have a favorite Flower and Garden food, actually. A lot of the foods for Flower and Garden I'm not quite as interested in, but, uh, you know, I'm not the best person to tell you about food, unfortunately. What time is Illuminations? Oh my goodness, we need a time machine, but uh, Luminous is, uh, is at 9. I'm just giving you a hard time, Lori Pop. It would be cool to go back and see uh, Illuminations for sure. I know, I'm being a smart aleck. <laughs> I mean, while we're at it, we gotta just go, I'll go uh, I'll go do the first world's first ever stream on Horizons, if we go back far enough. <clears throat> Encanto Pocahontas, okay. Thanks guys. Hi, Tiger Girl. <clears throat> I really, really, really like the imagination one that they have during Festival of the Arts. It's, like a sky. it's got the music from the old ride. So good. What else can I do? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Look at that. Yes, if I could travel back in time, Epcot would 100% be the park. I would go to and I'd go back to about 1991 probably. 1991 or 92. And then maybe 1995 if I could have two time frames. I'd love to see Illuminations... Or was it 97? I'd like to see Illuminations 25. That one was really good. But also, <clears throat> uh, just see Horizons World of Motion Original Imagination. I was also surprised in the Skies show that was here. All these like ultralight planes, I believe, that came in and flew over all over the place. Or am I just dreaming that? Montreal, hello. A simple plan, yes. Welcome to my life. I said thank you and hello earlier, but you were greeting some friends. Oh, no worries, Nanny Pooh Bear. Hello and thank you. And you're welcome. <laughs> my pleasure. 
<laughs> oh, for sure, Amy. Oh, bye, Michael. Epcot 2000 when they had the nightly parade. Yes, for sure. Now, that would have been fun, too, to see, to see the uh, Tapestry of Nations. That was a great time period, too. When Illuminations first, Illuminations Reflections of Earth first came out. Uh, JCK for security. Um, if you can, if you can get all of your um, all your metal objects out of your bag and hold them out in front of you, they don't search your bag. But if they detect any metal in your bag, then they they do search and wand. But it is a lot faster process. Disney World's really got it down. It's probably the best. It's probably the best security experience out of any park. Disneyland is really bad. They search every single bag, and it takes forever. So that's one thing Disney World does infinitely better than Disneyland. Park entry and exit at Disney World is very efficient. I think it's smart too because they know, like, if you're if you're if you're stuck outside the park, you're not spending money, right? So it's kind of wasted time, when, and people get frustrated. So I think Disneyland needs to definitely invest in getting people in and out faster. I missed that show. I still wanted to see the airplanes. Yeah, for sure. Oh, the flying dragon. I must have missed that. I do love the music. Oh, the, yeah. Disney had the top of uh, Magic Kingdom, top of the what, top of the train station. I remember that. The feed there. All right. So also, um, go check out another one of our awesome sponsors, Resort TV One Homes. Just go to resorttv1homes.com. That's resorttv1homes.com. Go check it out. And uh, we will, uh, we're brokered by EXP Realty and we'll help you find your dream home here in Central Florida. That's resorttv1homes.com. Go check it out. And again, we'll help you find your dream home here in Central Florida. Resorttv1homes.com. Go check it out. that 90 minutes for ratatouille wow yeah so definitely also go check out resort tv one homes on youtube where we have all kinds of great videos about moving to florida but yeah just go to resort tv one homes.com we'll help you find your dream home here in central florida resort tv one homes at dot com <clears throat> oh wow rick, rick i didn't ever see that one or don't remember it i guess look at that How do you get the sound quality so good? Literally no noise of air going past the mic. Uh, so we have uh, windscreens on our microphone and they protect from the wind. So we have little clip-ons. Wow. Oh, if you're staying at the Good Neighbor Hotel, getting in is very quick. Yes, it depends on where you're coming in from. It's true. That's gorgeous, guys. I don't. If that's not tranquil. If that's not tranquil, I don't know what is. Hey, slow. Oh, Ammon, that's amazing.
So we're gonna go down to see Remy. We're doing some kind of filming in the breezeway there. They were stopping everybody, but now they've moved on. Pretty fun. Relaxing all the way. Six or more flying, yeah, that's cool. A window to Walt Disney World, it really does. Ooh, I miss, I miss the, the magic shot here. With the boat. Awesome. Okay, so let me see if I can. Crepes over here. That's not too bad, I guess. This music's fun. That's a ratatango, I believe. I didn't know it the other night, and you guys told me what it was. And now I hear it around Ratatouille and I immediately recognize it. I got some footage in here the other night. Completely empty. That was pretty cool. Pretty sure there's no single here, but I can ask. Oh yeah, the international entrance is so incredible. Hi, quick question. Bonjour. Uh, is, there's, is there a single rider wine no, here? No, I don't. I okay, I didn't think so, but I just wanted to check. Thank you. You're welcome. Yep, that's what I thought. No single rider, but hey, at least I, I can say I checked. So now, anybody was wondering, no, there's no single rider. They may have built a space for it, but I have never seen one open here before. If they open one, that'd be good, but they must be able to fill up the seats without doing that, so that's why they don't add it. Uh, yeah, um, Audrey, it's it's not too bad walking around, but the ride wait times are pretty long. It's way longer. Last week, Ratatouille is more like 40 or 45 minutes. Now it's almost doubled out at 95. It was 110 earlier. So it's actually more crowded uh, wait time-wise for the lines quite a bit. Um, in fact, earlier, Missing Space was 110, which is crazy. Kind of cool to see where these go over here. You can't see too much, but you can see a little bit. Let's see. I have to be married to ride it. <laughs> Let's see, buddy. Yeah, maybe it must just be a lot of lightning lanes, I guess. I have no idea. But either way. Of course, we're kidding. You don't, you don't have to be married to ride ride a two. We were just kidding this before. You know, we don't want to have anybody confused that we were joking. But yes, it is funny. I almost watched the whole movie while waiting in line. Yeah, if it's true to, if the if the if the line is true to what it says, that's for sure. You really could. 
beautiful. All right, well, we better start heading down the road here. I don't want to, I want to complete my tour before the night's over. Mission Space is so busy today. I heard the guy in front of us just say 60 minutes. That's crazy. It's usually not as usually not as popular of a ride as a lot of other things. So many beautiful flowers here. The kiddos love ratatouille. Thought it was so unique and fun. Yeah, for sure. It is unique. I enjoy it quite a bit. I love the little, love the little hedge design here. It's a hedge maze for like mice. Uh -huh. Alright. Let's head around the lagoon. So yeah, tonight at 9.30 we'll be premiering a new video on Retro TV One Tech. Oh uh, yeah, no worries, David. Enjoy your dinner. Yeah, but we'll pr be premiering that on Retro TV One Tech. So go check it out. And it'll be right after this video at 8:30. No, sorry, not 8:30. 9:30. Uh, 8:30 Central. 9:30 Eastern Time. We'll be premiering that video about um, can you still use an iPhone 3G in 2024? We'll find out at 9:30. Can't wait, can't wait to be there in September. Mitchell Act fam, we booked another vacation at the campground. Nice. Enjoy. Can you hear the band a little bit? Yeah, Lawrence for sure. The Skyline is very peaceful. In my mind, because I don't know what I'm talking about. We've got convention guys with you. The walkways are definitely more crowded than they were last week but you mainly notice it in the wait times for sure i think it's just a simple fact of there just weren't as many people on break last week i think that's just what it was oh look there's like a special must be a special event very cool it's a great place for a party it sure is Cool to do a resort hover meet down meet and greet down there. Oh, well, That'd be fun. Uh, probably not riding any more rides. We'll see. I have no idea actually. The bridge is a good place to watch for sure. It's a nice place to watch. Sometimes we have lag actually out here on the bridge. Every once in a while we have a little bit of lag. It just depends. I don't know. But yeah, it is a fun place to watch. Oh, you can see Spaceship Earth popping up over the buildings there. It's fun. I got stuck in the crowd there. Hey Ginger, how are you? I've done a party down there, best spot ever. That's cool. We did one down there. Oh, uh, with the Polly Spets people. That was their fireworks view for uh, Luminous, which was cool. No, Harmonious actually. Sorry, it was before Luminous. 
so harmonious was that was their view for that uh, with their wedding there that we did so that was cool and then they invited us up to their reception up in uh, the Living Seas that was fun or the Seas with Nemo okay thank you Disney Junior appreciate it yeah stay safe happy Easter to you too do you guys want to take this out? Jamming out over here. My first scream. Welcome, welcome Scooby. Scooby Doo. Everybody <laughs> say hi to Tink. She's getting ready to fly. And happily ever after in just a bit. September, we're going for our honeymoon. So excited to experience Disney, just my husband and I. That's awesome. I'm glad too. They are really jamming out back there. That band is fun. Everyone say hi to Tank. Oh, it'd be fun. Tank would love that cock. Tank would love it. Oh, is this, uh, ah, ah, so fun. The music's calling me. What is the name of that? Why don't I know the name of this? I guess if we get copyrighted on I'll just take it out. That's a cool song though. This is command performance. Oh, the immigrant song, yeah. Singing, that's cool. Come on, sing it, Walt. Here we go. Ready? Sing it. Hey, ah. I wish I could. <laughs> you guys doing all right tonight? Doing all right. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. 
I, you know, I wasn't going to go back there, but I was drawn in by the song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're really good. They are really good. I actually, pref you know, it's funny, I like both, but I actually prefer them as command performance. I do too. I like, uh, what's it, hooligans or. Um, what's the one, the other? M80s. M80s. They're good. I like them, but I like, I like this better. I I, think. And, you know, they're obviously, they obviously are this, mostly the same guys. They're very talented, but right. it seems yeah. like they are pigeonholed as M80s and they can play all kinds of stuff I know, as right? this one. So, yeah. yeah. Yep, good I completely agree. Good to see you too. I hope, you, uh, I hope everybody's doing well. I think we're all doing well so far. I, I had to put our wrist, wrist braces on because I'm, or elbow braces on because I'm old. Uh, yeah, I understand that. You, that. <laughs> you. you too. Josh, one, everybody. <laughs> awesome to Say hi to Walt in his awesome Epcot shirt. <laughs> yeah, good seeing you, man. Yeah, you too. Oh, for sure. Oh. <laughs> that song, man. And I do like the M80s. I just feel like their, their set is the same every time. And when they're playing command performance, it's it's different. And they you know they play really well. It's not them. It's just that when they do their M80 set, it's the exact same thing. And I feel like they can do more. So anyway, <laughs> I know I complain a lot, but honestly, like I loved them. I love them performing that kind of stuff. I mean, they sound re like you guys said. They sound amazing doing that kind of stuff. It's really, really, really well done. Pizza pun. You a codfish? We went there last week for my son's spring break. There were very few people left in the park watching Luminous. Yeah, it just depended. Yeah. There were actually just very few people in the park at all. Crazy. I will say, I have noticed lately uh, more people are staying to watch Luminous when it's on. Uh, and I, I, see, I hear really good crowd reactions from it. So... Maybe I'm maybe I'm weird, but I really really like it. I think it's a hit. I, I'm not saying you said you didn't like it, but uh, some people have said, "Oh, nobody stays to watch it." So yeah. Anyway, I, I, you're saying that the crowds were low, which is true. You can never go wrong with the immigrant song. Yes, for sure, for sure. Uh, yeah, we went. Liam and I went for spring break. We went all kinds of places. Well, we went to Disney Springs on Saturday. So that was fun. And we went to Magic Kingdom on Sunday, last Sunday. I don't know. We just did. A, we did several different things. We went down to South Florida to see our friends. Um, yeah. So we had a pretty, pretty eventful break. It's funny. Liam's favorite place to go a lot of times is Disney Springs, though. He just loves the atmosphere of it and the uh, all the. Uh, I don't know, just, he just loves all the all the things. So that's pretty cool. A new dad, baby due in June. Oh, wow. Um, well, first of all, congratulations. And second of all, my advice would be to sleep now. Like seriously, sleep now. And you're gonna be fine. And sleep when the baby sleeps. You're gonna. Here's here's the problem when you're when you're a new parent, you're going to um, you're going to want you're, you're going to get to the point where you don't have as much free time for a long time, and you're going to get to the point where when the baby sleeps, you're like, oh cool, I'm gonna go, you know, do whatever thing it is you want to do, whether it be like watch TV, play video games, you know, hang out with your spouse, like whatever it is, you're gonna want to go do that, and um, the best thing to do during that time, even though you want to do those things, is sleep. Because when the baby gets up, the baby will not have regular sleep hours for a while. Liam didn't sleep through the night for, oh, almost a year. Oh, some, some kids uh, do a little better and they're, they're uh, you know, Liam had some um, just upset tummy issues, but some kids will, will do that at three to six months. But anyway, yep, that's my advice. Hey, David, how are you? Yeah, yes, Mr. David from New Mexico. literally like beautiful thanks Danny Pooh Bear I wish somebody had continued to tell me that my wife did but I should have listened so I want to go play video games and stuff <laughs> but it does turn around it does get better I just remember seeing pictures of myself 
while we're while we're while we're ooh, I just hit I just hit my watch on somebody something. Uh, I just remember seeing pictures of myself during that time and remembering how remembering how tired I was. I was so tired. Oh, thanks, Richard. But yeah, you're gonna be fine. Everybody figures it out. You're gonna be fine. Get out of everybody's picture here. All right. It does turn around, then they learn to walk. Yeah, that is true, Brad. I don't know, where are we going? We're just kind of strolling. I don't have time to ride Space at Birth tonight. It would be pretty, pretty quick turnaround. It would be untranquil for sure. We could probably watch a Spaceship Earth show though, or two. I do also need to stop and use the restroom real quick. So I'll do that for a second and then we'll, and we'll head around the world. A lot of people coming in just to watch the fireworks. That's kind of cool. Or they're at least just headed down this way to watch them. Either way, it's very dark right here. Four month old over here and definitely tired. Yep, it does get better. It does get better. And sometimes, you know, you have to go to work and you can't sleep when the baby sleeps. That's the hard part. Nope, I can't do any rides after the fireworks because the park's closed. And at most, at most of the time, Epcot closes right when the fireworks start. Then when you turn around, they'll be nearly grown. I know, Liam's growing up so fast already. He's just a sweet kid, though. He was with me at the chiropractor yesterday while we, we both get our adjustments every week. And uh, he gets one, too. And he was with me, and he heard the doctor talking about having the braces. And he's telling me this morning, he's like, Dad, I hope your brace works. I hope you feel better. It's like, wow, he's just such a sweet kid. He really is. Our daughter slept her first night through without screaming at six and a half years old. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's tough. I'm sorry. Oh, this is a fun song. I'm going to go down here and watch some of the... What else can I do? I'm going to go down here and watch the show. I won't make it for this one, but I'll make it for the next one. And then... I actually need to stop and... I'm stop and take a quick break, so. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. He is, yeah, he's a good kid. He is a good kid. I know I'm biased, but he really is. He's very caring. Concoctions, yes. <laughs> that is definitely concoctions. All right, so I'm going to put you guys on BRB for a second, and we'll go watch the next show here in just a second. This is a catchy song, too. I'm glad that they use different songs in the movie. You know, that they don't use, we don't talk about Bruno for everything. That's good. Uh, I think it's a great idea. Hey, Jason. Hello, Ann.
All right, guys. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Did a little BRB time. Take a real quick restroom break, so we'll be right back. Welcome everybody, and welcome back. Go out here and watch one Space Universe show. I really like those pylons, they're just really cool. I'm glad they did a recreation of them in the crystal shop too. Just a really neat, really neat design and, and very much the classic, classic look in the park. They didn't have anything there for a while, it was just rocks. So they put those up and really added to the original scenery. So. 
We got all the school groups waiting here because they probably were told to be back here at a certain time. <laughs> Maybe by the fountain. <laughs> I know. As somebody who plans school trips, I know. Let's come over here. It's a little bit quieter over here. Even though the tree blocks part of it, it's not bad. We have just a couple minutes till the next show. One minute till the next show. Oh, uh, Jalen, thank you for gifting another membership. Uh, get your ears on, got a membership. Thank you. Hey, Jeannie TV4, how are you? Good to see you. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And we also have the, uh, also want to check out another awesome sponsor, and that would be Behind the Ride on Amazon. It's behind the ride on Amazon if you want to find out how all your favorite Disney rides were created. Just go to behind the ride. Just go to Amazon and search for behind the ride. And another one I probably didn't say yet was David's DVC Rentals. If you want to rent a DVC room for a fraction of the cost, just check out David's DVC Rentals at dvcrequest.com slash TV. That's dvcrequest.com slash TV. Tell them Resort TV One sent you. Oh yeah, I'm so glad that they left the lights on Spaceship Earth 2. Uh, Main Street Morgan for sure. Comes the monorail. Resort TV? Yes. Hi, awesome, how are you? I'm doing really well. Yeah, Thank we you. Watching. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, cool. Yeah, good stuff. Man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's a pleasure. <laughs> Enjoy the evening. You too. Oh, this is a Pocahontas show. That's beautiful.
Oh, that's so nice. I was looking it up. That's from the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra version of that song, Colors of the Wind. That's pretty cool. Also, I love that's the original kind of Epcot colors spaceship Earth. That's my favorite. And I guess Tank is watching. Hi, Tank. Hi, buddy. <laughs> he didn't seem to want to, to see me this afternoon when Steph picked up Liam. So funny. So, yeah. We gotta go check out the blog that Steph posted. And if uh, Steph, if you could post the link to that blog, Liam did the um, Liam did a holiday make your own holiday creation, and you can go check that out on the blog on resorttv1homes.com. But if Steph, if you can post the link to it, that'd be great. And also tonight, I'm gonna have on Retro TV One Tech a new video at 9:30. So, um, can you still use an iPhone 3G in 2024? So check that out. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, thanks everybody look at that yeah the instrumental is really really good with it yeah that's by royal philharmonic orchestra oh new new retro new resort tv one homes video at 1 p.m tomorrow all right very cool yeah go check that out it says let me see where is it there colors of the wind royal philharmonic orchestra that's awesome i uh, may have some copyrights to move on this stream but it'll be worth it thanks for all the bless you guys so if certain parts of the stream are muted later, you'll know why, but it's okay. That's why you can watch it live. I recommend watching Pete's interview of John DeCure tonight when you get home. You're looking at his work there. Yes, I know, that's so cool. We need to get him on our uh, video. We saw him in person here, but it was hard to hear because it was so loud in the park. So we need to get him on a real interview like that where we can really hear, can really hear him, him talking and sharing his amazing stories. It's hard to interview anybody in the park because of the, you know, the sound is never, never perfect. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure Pete did a great job. I need to, uh, need to watch that for sure. It's his handiwork. Yes. Yeah. So everybody's saying hi to my wonderful, beautiful wife, Steph. She keeps the whole family going when I'm out here doing this. She's the amazing team behind the scenes that keeps a, the streams going. I recommend live, but replays have their place, absolutely. And some of our streams get a lot of replays. I had one Tranquil Tuesday, actually two of them from last year get, they got, um, both got over 300,000 views, so that's crazy. A couple of Tranquil Tuesdays, so that was amazing. So very, very thankful that those got such great views. You know, just after the fact, they were just normal Tranquil Tuesdays, and then they just kind of blew up afterwards. There's a couple of them that were like that, so very cool. We're gonna go watch the fireworks. We'll probably try and watch it in the middle, so I don't have as far to I don't have as far to walk out. What a fun night! I wish we could have seen the uh, the Epcot show for Spaceship Earth, the original Beacon of Magic show, but uh, Pocahontas was really nice too. Brilliant to put Tranquil Tuesday streams on to de-stress during the day. The chilled Epcot walk was great too. Yeah, I did uh, do from last Monday an Epcot stroll with basically not. It wasn't no people, but it was basically very few people. And that was pretty awesome. So definitely go check that out. Elias. I love that the color scheme here, Elias. this color scheme is repeated even in connections, all the way throughout the connections there. It's repeated in there. It's also repeated out here on these pylons and really just everywhere through this whole area. It's actually pretty incredible. So I'm really kind of shocked that they were able to do that. It's just all very, very much in sync. So here you can see Spaceship Earth right there is that color. And then you can see in here, it's basically the same color scheme. That's pretty crazy. Sorry, I forgot. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite Spaceship Earth views. I walked right by it. But yeah, anyway, I just, I love that, the, I love that it matches. I love that it syncs up. Yeah, that's my, 
one of my favorite views. I just get the whole, there you go, right there, perfect. We've got time. Also, I'm kind of trying to miss the songs that play before Illuminations because or Illuminations Illuminous because they definitely they definitely cause us issues. The copyright. So there's one called Jazz Carnival or something with the crazy trumpet solo that messes us up. Anyway, then you can just get closer and closer and see the amazing, amazing lights. I wonder, you know, uh, Spaceship Ears, I guess, and his dad probably really appreciates that, the lights, I'm sure. And yeah, I guess they've got all the LEDs fixed, which is nice, too. All right, we got to go. Pretty awesome. Ten minutes, we should be able to make it up there just fine. Let's see if there's any room. If not, we'll just keep going. Oh, we'll be able to hear the Epcot show as we walk by. That'll be good. Lots of people leaving. Yeah, this music's so awesome. I can't quite see it from there. Let me move out this way and you can see it better. There it is. Yep, the globe is pretty cool. Thanks for being here tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I was just letting you enjoy the sights and sounds a little bit. It's tranquil. Hey, Janice, how are you? All right, so, let's see. Vicky Gillespie, my test okay, no blockage. That's good. It's awesome. There you go. All right, we got plenty of time. Thank you. 
So right after the fireworks at 9.30, we'll be showing a premiere on Retro TV One Tech. Go check that out. And it'll be... You can go subscribe to Retro TV One Tech. It almost, we almost have 6,000 subscribers on there, but... The cool thing is we're going to be showing you on my old iPhone 3G, and can you still use it in 2024? And if you can use it, what can you use it for? Can you use it as a daily phone, or can you use it only for certain things? Stay tuned for the answer. <laughs> we might have to keep going. We'll see. I'm very, very late, but that's okay. <laughs> this music's so catchy. Even though it's all copyrighted. It's more crowded in here for sure tonight. But there should be some room in the middle here. There always is. Let's see if I can weasel my way back here. I'm not even in front of anybody. There we go. The 3G could do more than my first gen iPad iPod Touch. Well, actually, the 3G and the iPod Touch are very similar. So, <clears throat> in a lot of ways, I don't use my flip phone. Right? Five minutes. Who's ready for the show? Fireworks are in. Travis Fireworks are in four minutes. Very soon. And we'll listen to some of the songs, walk out, and enjoy a premiere at 9.30. And we'll be back live on Friday Night Live at 6 o'clock for lots of fun things. Don't miss Friday Night Live. We have a, a lot of fun in store for you. Good to have park hoppers in here. Looks like we're good on signals so far. Fingers crossed. It's pretty busy in here, but we should be fine. We're going to have a lot of fun on Friday Night Live. For sure. Uh, no, there's not going to be a Whimsical Wednesday this week. Jenna's not going to be live tomorrow because she's going to be spending some time with friends tomorrow instead. So yeah, uh, she'll we'll be back. She'll be back uh, on Friday with me. And if you missed it, she did stream yesterday uh, here at Epcot, so you can go check that out if you missed it. It was during the day, so some people might have been working, but you can go check it out. Tonight, we Enjoy, guys. You to join us for Luminous, the Symphony of Us. Due to lower light levels during the show, we ask that you please watch your step and be sure to take small children out of the room. Tonight's performance of Luminous, the Symphony of the Dice, will begin in just a few minutes.
ensemble of our ancestors, our family, nuestra familia.
But we are never truly alone. Sing out so others can hear you. The music we make echoes back at us in chorus. In concert.
Guys, that's amazing. Wow. Ah, that show is art. So, 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 so good. It's literally art. Great vibes. Yeah, Steve, for sure. And Isaac, yep, Isaac nailed it with the lyrics. <laughs> it's his last name, incidentally. <laughs> Isaac Nail nailed it, as always. Guys, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? It's so, so good. Just the way it builds, man. It builds to that climax. It, I, I agree with David. It's just right up there with Happily Ever After, which is saying something. It's Happily Ever After has got one of the best climaxes at any fireworks show with Tank. You know, there's no Tank here, of course, but... The climax with the music is so, so good, but those, those Starburst fireworks, it's really, really, really well done. My goodness. We're going to start heading out because I want to uh, send you guys over to our premiere, Retro TV One Tech premiere, so stay tuned. we got a huge premiere on Retro TV One Tech. Can we still use an iPhone 3G in 2024? Wait, let me, oh, gee, yeah, absolutely. Let me turn the brightness up. There we go so we can see. Ah, oh, that's better. It's funny because this used to be this used to be what our phones look like. Oh, hold on, let me go there. This used to be what our phones look like at night. That's all you could see. And now we have this. It's truly a huge, huge difference. Let me see if I can get over here. Maybe might be a little bit easier. Yeah, stay tuned though. First and fun resort TV one tech or retro TV one tech. All the things. It'll be super fun. Don't forget to hit the like if you haven't already done so. If you did enjoy the stream. If not, you know what to do. <laughs> yeah, thanks guys. We appreciate you. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh pot of one heartbeat. Takes a long to find a person. Yeah. Pot of one heartbeat. It, it just, it's so tied together, everything. The more I watch it, the more... Like, even when the voices come together at the beginning, the lasers come together. Like, there's so much symbolism in that show in the visual aspect. And you can see very clearly that whoever designed all of the music and the visual, like, there was a director who made sure there was a cohesive vision all the way through the show. And it's just something that you don't see in a lot of other shows. I, I just really am in awe of that show. It's just truly a masterpiece of music and fireworks. And everything else. Hey Mike. What did Mike what did Mike say? Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> Fun fact, I learned from my friend who worked on the show the hard design are individual fireworks shooting off from a heart design, not your normal shells. Oh wow, that's cool. I figured there was something to that because it was really cool the way they shoot those off on a heart design. That is really cool. So they're individual fireworks shooting off from a heart like a pattern. That's well, I bet that takes a while to load all that up. They've got, I'm sure they have a, sure they have a faster way to do it, but wow. That's amazing, friends. And usually we stay a little bit later, but tonight, you know, of course I have to work tomorrow, so. And we're gonna do the premiere on the way out. So, stay tuned, I'll get you a great view of Spaceship Earth on the way out, so no worries there. 
We are truly blessed to be able to enjoy this amazing place. You know, there's things I miss about the old stuff, but I, you know, I am an, I am a true Epcot fan that can appreciate all the things, that can appreciate the past, the present, and hopefully the future. You know, all the things. So, it's it's really important to be able to do that. Oh, look at it. it used to be everybody had to go around to the left, and now or the right or left and now you can go right through the middle which is kind of cool yeah, let's go this way might be a little faster <laughs> I was impressed with the shapes me too Tim me too so good no I'm really the design of that show is so good Micah Please let your friend know, we love that show. And I know a lot of other people did too. It was cool because a, a lot of school groups were around us while we were watching. And so you could hear the excitement. You know, I mean, especially people who, I'm assuming they were probably band or choir kids on trip. You know, there's a lot of bands and choirs down here. And you, you know, you get the appreciation of the music from those kids. And it's, it's great. So, I, I think it's really cool that... You can hear that reaction. Sorry, I'm trying to dodge, dodge, duck, and weave the crowd so I can get you guys a spaceship Earth view before the, the premiere starts. Aw, it says, what a beautiful daughter you have. Clearly, she's a wonderful girl. That's awesome. I didn't see the comments before, but yes, Iz is awesome. She sure is. And I hope she had a great first day back at school yesterday. Yep. It's clear, you know, when you have... You have good kids usually, that means there's a good and supportive parent behind them for sure. And it helps a lot more if there's two supportive parents behind them if possible, but you gotta have at least at least one and they it's really important to have that support. That we appreciate you guys so much. So thanks for making Tranquil Tuesday special every week. I do. Um, I do have a different. I do have a different plan next week. I have a later. I have a jazz band rehearsal next week that goes late. It goes till five, so I might start at six thirty or seven next week, uh, and we'll just do a shorter one next week. And maybe I won't do a premiere afterwards next week. We'll see. So excited for the retro iPhone premiere! I remember asking if you had old phones to check out. How oh, that'd be fun. It's so cool. That's awesome, Kalina. I have a Samsung Blackjack too, but unfortunately it doesn't work. So I don't know why, because I have the AC adapter. I figured the battery's dead, but I have the AC adapter for it. And even with the even with the, the power adapter, it doesn't work. So um, who knows? You know, because at, at this point it could be anything. All right. Look at this crowd. Go ahead. Sorry. You want to see something scary? Ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Bam. Scary. Be on the wrong side. Well, I guess it's not as tight as it was a second ago. Be on the wrong side of an impending crowd. <laughs> impending crowd. Hi. Yeah, it's, uh, this is a little scarier. <laughs> Hope everybody had a fun night tonight. I know I did. Not too shabby, you're all right, Mr. Nelson. Liam is super awesome and brilliant. Oh, thanks, David. I appreciate that. Well, we're very thankful. He's an awesome kid, and you know we've done our best, but certainly we're not perfect. We're just doing the best we can, and uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully, uh, we do him proud because he's an amazing kid. A lot of pressure when you have a great kid, you know. <laughs> 
You got to make sure you, you give them your best. Look, look at this. I don't even have anywhere to go right now. All right, so uh, we are going to send you guys over to the premiere of the video. So definitely go stay tuned for that. But let's, yep, so stay tuned for premiere of Retro TV One Tech. And uh, that'll be happening in just, a, in just a few minutes here. So yeah, that'll be awesome. Uh, let me see, can I get out of here? <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, Lucky Dog. Uh, you were awesome, Lucky Dog. All right, let me go out here a little bit so I can get you guys a decent selfie. So yeah, come on over to the premiere. It should send you over there automatically. Let me, where can I go that I'm like not mobbed? I know it's like right after closing. It's my fault for try, even trying to, trying to come out here. <laughs> And especially with it's worse during spring break because all the school groups are are uh, trying to meet out here. Uh, check in, bus three, <laughs> bus three check, bus four check. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys later. See you guys Friday, Friday Night Live. It's gonna be a great one. There we go. I found a spot. I'm not quite as uh, <laughs> not quite as getting run over. But anyway, thanks for being here, everybody. Appreciate you. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on Friday. So again, thanks for thanks for being here, and thanks for um, just an amazing, amazing, relaxing night. It's been absolutely incredible, and um, I hope to see you on the retro stream. So go on over there, see how my iPhone 3G works. All right, everybody, we'll see you there. So for now, have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye bye.